Oh, Ross Lake, maybe. Ross Lake, yeah. Yeah. Backpacking, so. yeah, Rainier. Oh, no, yeah, Rainier. We have yeah. a weekend at Rainier. The next adventure is never far away for Alex Springer and Mel Hopkins. Yeah, our first date was a hike. <laughs> Yeah, well, the first year of our relationship because of COVID, we just did like outdoor stuff <laughs> and mm -hmm. road trips. So, This active Seattle couple is setting off on a new course that others may someday be able to follow. They're among the first to test a new type of male birth control. Yeah, I've been applying the gel for a year. You just get a habit and it, it's, uh, it fits in pretty seamlessly to my morning routine. I think I, I apply a gel um, at, you know, right after I apply my deodorant. It's, that's kind of how I see it. It's, it. it's not very different. UW Medicine doctor Stephanie Page is leading the Seattle site of an international study on the gel. We know that these methods can be effective for 95% of men if they're used as directed. And I would take the product in my left hand and apply it to my right shoulder and it rubs in very nicely. Uh, it has an alcohol component just like hand sanitizer so it dries very quickly. Men apply to both shoulders once a day. The hormones in the gel gradually lower the production of sperm to a level where a pregnancy isn't likely. For Alex and Mel, it's a solution to a dilemma. Um, I tried the birth control pill and IUDs and a couple other methods too. And for type 1 diabetes, there's just like a lot to deal with as far as like hormone fluctuations and how that affects my blood sugar. And I just am very weary about suppressing my hormones for a long time. I felt like this was a great opportunity for us to, to try something where um, the treatment would, would be on me and, and sort of the, the responsibility and, um, and opportunity to, to kind of move our relationship forward um, without her having to worry about hormonal uh, changes to her body. One of the really important points about this contraceptive gel in contrast to some other methods that are available for men is that we know it's 100% reversible. So when men stop using the gel in 6 to 12 weeks, their sperm count comes back and they restore their fertility. For this couple, it's been a journey worth taking. I just think it was a really cool moment where the pressure wasn't all on me and that was really nice. I think I was hesitant yeah. at first, um, but then we <laughs> read into it and, and talked with the, the care providers and um, became comfortable with it. And I think, uh, you know, haven't looked back. If you're interested in trying the gel, the study is enrolling more couples to take part. Participation will last about two years. Learn more details about the study on the UW Medicine Newsroom.